Hello, everybody, and welcome to the OLM Community Meeting and Issue Triage. My name is Daniel, and I'll be running the meeting today. Um, sorry, I should have shared my screen before, but I'll go ahead and do that now. All right, can everybody see that? We can. Great. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our milestone check-in. We're currently still on milestone five and we've got just a couple items in progress here. So it's looking like um, we can probably close this milestone pretty quick here and cut a new release. I know it's been a while since um, our last one and I know we also have an upcoming topic on this, um, but um, let's see. So we've got these two issues here. Um, Mikolai, are you in the meeting? Oh, uh, yes, yes, I see you there. Yep. Would you mind uh, talking over this one uh, on the current status? Uh, yeah, we, um, so there is a discussion on, uh, GitHub, on GitHub and where we're gathering feedback. Uh, we merged the um, current state of the CLI, uh, which can uh, resolve uh, of cluster. Uh, but I think at this point, we're just gathering, gathering feedback. So if you have any uh, feedback and use cases for cluster resolution, please comment on the uh, thread on, on, uh, on GitHub discussion. The link is on the screen right now of, of cluster CLI tools. And uh, I think we are now in, in the holding pattern at this moment. Um, I'm not sure whether it, it, it makes sense to keep um, the issue uh, in progress or not. Um, maybe we should, so basically ha part of the work is done uh, and for now it's on hold. So I'm not, not sure, maybe, maybe we should move it uh, away from the board. Uh, Joe? Yeah, I was wondering, Mikolai, if um, it sounds like there's multiple pieces of this, would it make sense to, and maybe we've already done this, and this is just sort of the final meta issue about all of it, but yeah, like if there's a CLI component that's not really critical for anything, but we've made a bunch of changes, for example, to DEPI, and we've incorporated those into operator controller as a version bump or whatever, um, would it make sense to sort of capture the current state of the world there and then split it out somehow such that the remaining work can be moved to a new milestone? Like, I guess what I'm asking is like, uh, is there any reason we should hold milestone five on what's still outstanding? Uh, no, I think we should not hold milestone. Um, I think we should uh, move on. And uh, like once we get more feedback, uh, we can continue separately. Then that's uh, I think what 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 would be the best. Okay, would you mind sort of uh, updating this issue if if this last comment doesn't already cover it and sort of say, here's what here's what we finished and then we can close this one, maybe rename it and then break out any remaining work into a separate issue that we can put in the next milestone. Yeah, makes sense. I'll do that. Um, awesome. Probably tomorrow. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Joe. Uh, next item on milestone five in progress is a uh, tracker for Depi 96. Um, Pear, are you here to talk over this one? I am here. Can you scroll down? I just need to see which one is. Oh, sorry. Can you go to 96? I just, I oh, think it's yeah. the RFC. I'm just not sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, we can close this as the RFC is done. Uh, but I don't think we've reached consensus yet. So my plan is I'm going to break down both of the ideas that I have, and I'm going to circle back with Joe because I have a separate RFC based on some comments from the original RFC uh, with perhaps a simpler or different direction. 
but it still needs a little bit of discussion with Joe, but he's hamstrung by uh, the release at the moment. So I'll just put both options on the table and then we can pick something and uh, get going. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, so it sounds like we're going to split these out and um, cut a new release. Uh, I could potentially take, uh, is, is this the thing we want to discuss as, as part of um, your topic, Kevin? Or Because um, otherwise I was just going to say um, I could take this as an action item once these are out of the milestone to just go ahead and cut a new release. Um, but if there's something uh, somebody's desperately waiting on to get into there, maybe we could hear about that. Otherwise, I, I don't see a much reason not to do a release. OK, I'm not hearing any objections. So I'll probably get started on that after this meeting. Um, but uh, as the meeting goes on, if somebody has thoughts, let me know. So, okay. So just to clarify, what we're saying is yeah. both of those issues, we're going to move out of the milestone, which means there's nothing remaining left in the milestone, which means we can cut a new operator controller. Uh, we probably, if we haven't already, want to, maybe what we should do before we cut a new operator controller is to cut new Depi catalog D uh, ruck pack, uh, and then bump mm -hmm. operator controller to use those new versions, and then yeah. cut the new operator controller. So maybe we should add a few issues just to do that sort of um, release work. Sure, uh, I won't do that here. But that I'm taking notes on that. Yep. Um, so. I, I think that makes sense. Uh, I and maybe I'm jumping the gun, but uh, the, the next thing on the agenda is kind of more or less a proposal to do that, uh, except do it every three weeks. Yeah. Um, real quick before you, we go into that. Um, I know we already talked about the missing uploads, uh, but Chris has this topic here, and I want to make sure that everything was said on there that needs to be said. Yeah, I, I got it. Thank you. OK, cool. Um, yeah, sorry, Kevin. Go ahead. Uh, no, that's that. That's pretty much my whole proposal. So I don't know if everybody has taken, or if anybody has taken a look at the um, RC I wrote up last week. Um, if you haven't, please take a look. Um, but at a very high level, the TLDR is essentially, uh, I'm proposing that we just move to a time-based release for OLMV1 and that uh, essentially every third working group meeting, we create a new milestone, but rather than calling it milestone five or milestone six, instead we just make a milestone around the operator controller version. And then every three weeks, uh, when we get to that next iteration, we close that regardless of what's completed and what's not completed as tagged for the given release, and then create a new milestone so that we're kind of iterating more quickly so that there are more frequent releases. Yeah, I did have a chance to um, look over this a little bit and I, I am in support of that for sure. So maybe I can put this as a comment on the doc. Uh, but we also talked about not using the milestone views that we were um, looking at, we have been looking at, and instead doing the other milestone. Um, and other terms are the same. I don't know if. Kevin, if that makes sense, and if you want to include that in this talk. Uh, so, so my suggestion, I, I think I did put that as an alternative. I want to say I did, uh, which is this asynchronous releases section and the alternatives. Uh, I don't know if I called out the view specifically. Um, my suggestion is that we don't do that uh, and rather 
focus on the singular rapper. Uh, and the reason why I kind of feel like that is because ultimately, and I think this is somewhat outside the scope of this doc, but uh, ultimately I think we want to think about what does OLM V1 mean and how do we, right? Like operator controller kind of is an aggregate release of all of the other projects, the, the install script, all the other stuff that you use to install it, uh, all its dependencies, right? Like we're really kind of releasing one big project that has a bunch of related dependencies, especially while we're not at V1 yet. I would personally like to see us thinking about the shape of the project as a whole. And so like for, at least from my perspective, it would be really valuable to see the overall release planning for all the components such that like we have one view for what's going to get released in the next version of, of operator controller. Otherwise we're going to have to hop back and forth between lots of different smaller projects. And maybe at some point when they're bigger, uh, I think that might be more valuable. Um, but I, I think earlier up in the doc, I pointed out like the frequency that we're actually pushing changes. Uh, and it's something like most of these projects are getting commits like on the order of at least once every seven to 10 days. Uh, I, so I, I, I don't know, that feels like extra overhead for now while we're all kind of working together on the same stuff. Okay, yeah, that's fair. As long as it's called on the document and if people have like opposing or, or counter arguments and stuff like that, they can comment on that, that's fine. Just wanna make sure that we're talking about this and discussing it as a group. And I'll place the link here in the chat as well. All right, um, did anybody have um, thoughts on this document um, that they wanted to put forward here? Um, otherwise, feedback obviously is gonna be appreciated on the doc itself, but um, just before we move on. Just a quick comment. This is uh, Joe Heisinger. Say, I, I mean, I don't get to participate every meeting like uh, a lot of people do here. So, I mean, I think it would be fantastic to be able to go to some place and kind of, you know, pick up from where I was with my last understanding and know what's coming, so that I can kind of stay up to speed with what's going on. So, uh, plus one to kind of trying to get to that level. Yeah, absolutely. That's a that's a really great point because not everyone here can work full time on this project. So the extra transparency is really helpful. Yeah, so I, I guess um, my my suggestion is that for milestone five, we close it out. We cut a we cut releases for all the dependent projects. Then we cut a zero dot three dot zero release of operator controller. And then uh, what I'd like to see is going into our maybe next community meeting, we focus on creating a 0.4.0 .0 tracker in the milestone view and then start iterating from there. So um, I, mean, I guess maybe we might want to give a couple more days for comments on this RFC since it did just come out, but yeah, uh, maybe at the next meeting we Start that process, assuming there's no objection. Yeah, I've noted that, and I'll um, make sure that's an item on our agenda for next week. All right. Um, release planning, item checking. Um, is that any different from what we were just talking about or? It kind of sounds like the same thing to me, so. If so, I'm gonna move on. There's an ambulance going by. Okay, um, so yes, Joe, hand up. 
I was just going to ask if there are any other RFCs that anybody has come out with recently that would be worth talking about for the whole group. Uh, there was one for catalog D recently approved um, that I don't remember if it was brought up in the community meeting um, last week, but that was accepted and approved. Um, I can update the agenda with the link to it. I don't, yeah, I don't want to put you on the spot, but if you're willing to give a high level overview, um, that'd be great. Otherwise, we can cover it next time. Yeah, I mean, just a high level overview, um, going from using Kubernetes custom resources for uh, exposing catalog content um, to using a HTTP server um, that's going to store catalog contents in a file system um, and serve it via an HTTP endpoint alleviating some of the load on the Kubernetes API server um, and storage mechanisms. Yeah. Thanks, Bryce. Yeah, if you want to just put the link to that in, in somewhere, uh, maybe under, yeah, topics, I guess. Uh, that gives other folks a chance to take a look and provide any feedback. Let me go ahead and um, create the next one. Because I think. And maybe, maybe this is why you're doing that. Maybe that's sort of Joe, what you were getting at, like, as part of the, the authoring of RFCs, maybe we should make a point to always include any new RFCs in the topics and sort of give an overview of them and put a link there that way sort of the source of truth for what's been happening is GitHub slash this meeting agenda. And you can go look at, here's all the PRs and milestones that we've been setting up. And then for upcoming work that's not yet covered in GitHub, like here's the RFCs that we've written. Yeah, I think anything to kind of help make that, you know, easy to, to keep track of would be a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. Do do we want to make this a a, re, a regular thing on our um, weekly meeting to bring up RFCs? I, think I suppose it doesn't necessarily need to be a whole section, but I'm, I think that people, anybody that does go through the RFC process probably should at least add it as a topic, right? I don't know how we want to do that the, with the finer details, but we should definitely be bringing them up every week. Yeah, I mean, I think that'd be a good idea. I, 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 don't, I, I think, uh, I don't know if Piot's on or not, but I think there's, you know, some RFCs that may have sat out there for a while that we still probably need to have some discussions on. So if we kind of highlighted that here, I think that'd be a good idea. Yeah, for sure. Let me add that to my action items. This is maybe sort of a meta conversation now, but part of the part of the goal with all of this whole MV1 stuff is to get more participation from outside of Red Hat. So uh we don't want this RFC thing to be perceived as like, here's what Red Hat says we're going to do next. Um, so we want, you know, if, if other people have ideas on things that we should be pursuing, like this RFC process, we need to open up and make sure is sort of accessible for everyone. And uh, we make everyone feel inclusive about it and make it easy to do and that kind of thing. So probably need to talk about that a little bit more, but um, that's the intention, right? Like we we want everyone to be able to do this. So I think part of that is like, how do we decide what we're even going to write an RFC for? And Kevin mentioned briefs in the um, in the chat. So we've been talking a little bit about having sort of 
this very high level um, grief concept, which is essentially like a description of like a decent chunk of work that might require one or more RFCs to go implement. So a brief is sort of a high level. Here's some architectural thing that we think we want to do. And we go and circulate that around and get everyone nodding their heads. And then once that's sort of agreed upon, then we can go and write RFCs for the underlying um, implementation. So we're just sort of starting to pilot this process. Uh, we've sort of done things backwards. I don't think we really have any briefs that anyone that at least that I've written that are ready to be shared yet. But the idea as we go is um, to sort of have a high level. And we we did this a little bit with some of the um, GitHub milestone planning things where we sort of had a high level, like here's what we want to do. And then we started implementing stuff that way. So this is sort of the same thing, but maybe in a slightly different format. Anyway, like I think part of what we should do in the near future is sort of lay that process out and make it accessible. Monica, I see your hand up. Yeah, that's for a different topic once. Uh, oh, okay. Chris, I, I kind of think to answer your question, like there's tons of unknowns in some of those areas. So I think like step one would be discussions and issues. And then once we sort of get, um, you know, pieces of it, figured out or something with a little more clarity, then we would go and write a brief that says like, okay, for this piece of that problem, and for these, these are big problems, right? Like for this piece of this problem, like here's what we think we can do. And then from there, then we can go write the RFC. So I kind of envision like for the really big, really unknown, really intractable problems, we sort of need to start out in the discussion land before we write a brief. That's my opinion at least. In my, in my mind, brief is more of a, okay, like we've got some consensus-ish, like with a group of people that are thinking about this uh, from a maintainer perspective. Um, let's, let's go and write this consensus down and see if we can go implement it. I think it's also fair to call out, and this is probably because of the missing recording from last week. And I don't know if Chris, you were there in the meeting last week, but we did talk about this a little bit. Um, and if you look at the agenda item for last week we did mention that the discussion slash you know if there's any rfc regarding at least the multi-tenancy is you know it's coming soon sort of a thing um uh, i think it's the all action item checkpoint bullet point so maybe once the recording is uploaded, there'll be more details on what we talked about, but I think it's essentially gonna be what Joe reiterated right now. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I was not able to attend last week and of course there's no recording. So I've got a little context loss there. Um, it just seemed like a couple of those, uh, com those discussions have kind of stalled. And so I just wanted to make sure they didn't get lost. Uh, migration is another you know topic related to tenancy, I think so. Apologies for the recording not being uploaded. I think we can work on that today. Yeah, we'll get that sorted out. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, next up, I want to ask the group um, if anybody is willing to volunteer to host next week's meeting. Daniel, before we do that. Um, oh, yeah. The release planning item check checking. I just remember what that was about. Uh, that was about our release pl planning page, not having any action item. And we did talk about it last week. Um, Joe mentioned that there was plans on populating that page with uh, you know, future discussions that we need to have or our near term discussion that we need to have for OLMV1. But we also did do a disclaimer about 
not having enough time between last week and this week to do anything about that. But we decided that it'll be at least worth to check in this week again. So that's that's what that action item is about. Okay. Yeah, I think it's probably reasonable to go ahead and assign that to me and I'll take it as an action item to start populating some stuff there for next time. Cool. Sounds good. Anything else on that? All right. Um, yeah, so is anybody uh, hoping to host the meeting for next week? If not, we can um, always just, uh, I can just post a reminder in the upstream Slack and um, yeah, we can just figure it out there. Um, we don't need to keep everybody here until somebody gives in. <laughs> um, so with that, um, I'll just make sure, uh, I think the very next thing I'm gonna do after this is just make sure we get these recordings uploaded um, and then I'll start on the rest of my action items for doing our release. Um, and before I end the meeting, uh, was there anything else anybody wanted to bring up? All right, sounds like we're good. So thank you everybody for participating and we'll talk to you all next week. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Daniel. Thanks.